Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to the shop. So in my last video, a lot of you guys were asking how it is you could separate or even cut up a model so that way you can actually properly put it on your printer and actually print it out without having to mess with too much. So something you might actually notice with a couple of models you have is it's all together even though it's in a whole lot of complex pieces and either it's too big for your printer or there's some weird overhangs or something like that. So for example, this helmet you can actually select it and you can see all these fine pieces are actually all moved together as one solid piece. So if I go to try to move it, oh hi Tony, it all moves together. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to separate this out so that way you can print each piece separately and then later I'm going to show you how you can slice up individual pieces just in case it's still too big for your printer. But first, let's go ahead and delete some of this before my computer crashes. There we go, much better. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the main helmet of the Hulkbuster. Uh, not related to anything I may or may not be working on in the future. And as you can see when we select it, every single piece is selected. So even though this is separated out, it actually is all considered as one solid piece. Well, you can actually go in and fix that in just a few very easy steps. All you have to do is in Blender, go from Object Mode to Edit Mode. From there, go over to Mesh, separate them by loose parts. And now you can see each piece actually has a line going around it. Let's go back into object mode. Now, next time I click on something, it's isolated. Each and every piece has actually been perfectly separated out, so that way this time, when you go to try to move something, it's actually its own separate piece. Now, to be fair, I'm not 100% sure on how to separate it out even further out so that way, for example, I could grab, say, this forehead and then right click and like export it out. So with that, you might have to play around. What I end up usually doing is I will grab a piece and then I will delete everything else. So for example, I would you know, grab that forehead and hold on to shift, that way I can just select multiple pieces and then over time, once I've got everything I want to remove highlighted, or even just kind of drag and do this number, then hit delete, and then whatever's left, I would then go ahead, save, and export out as an object or an SPL, STL. Now, let's say you want to do something else. Let's say, for example, you want to print this plate on your Ender 3, but it's way too big. That's why we go over to Slicer. Okay, so here we are in Slicer, or Slick 3R, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and take that Hulkbuster plate I was talking about before. So here it is, and all you want to do here is go ahead and you head down to cut. This window will pop up. Go ahead and actually turn off show preview. That will actually save you a couple frames and let everything load a little bit easier. Now let's say you want to cut this thing straight down the middle. You go ahead and just choose your axis. And then right there, you'll actually see a preview of where you're going to cut it. Now for me, if I want to cut it in the exact middle, I'll figure out exactly how long this is. So for example, you see right here, it's 328.2. So let's go ahead and divide that by 2. So as you see, we get 164.1. So just type that in, 164.1. And then we go ahead and for a keep, you keep the upper part and the lower part, even though technically right here it's left and right, but whatever, semantics, click perform cut. And now you have two halves of your Hulkbuster perfectly separated out, or at least as perfectly as I'm going to get it. And one good thing about Slicer is it actually will fill in anywhere where it cuts, so this is now a, a solid piece. From here, all you gotta do is right click, export object as STL and then go ahead and save it wherever you want and there you go nice little way for you guys to go ahead and just grab whatever file you want and if you want to print it at 100% scale like something I might or might not be doing um go away uh then yeah there you go so guys hope you liked the quick tutorial um I like I said before I got this request in my last video and I figured I'd just go ahead and put it out there to show you exactly what I did in order to make my 
larger prints and everything just work for me. Uh, it's how I set up my Xamarin God Sword. It's how I've set up a couple other things I've been working on. It's a really easy thing to do. A lot of people like to think that stuff like Blender is actually really complex, but it's actually a really powerful tool as long as you know just where to work it and where to go with everything. But anyway, um, I hope this helped out everybody. Um, as always, if you like everything, YouTube shill, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I do want to thank everybody though, all of you recent subscribers. I've finally hit above 100 subs. I know for the rest of the YouTube world, that isn't a number at all that they think about. They probably get that in a day. But honestly, to me, this is awesome. This is cool. Um, I didn't even think I had 100 people that liked me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, seriously, uh, thank every one of you. And I also want a special shout out to my buddy Miguel. I know you hate it, but thanks again for being my patron, my only patron on Patreon. Uh, if the rest of you guys want to support me, go ahead and hop in there, and I'll thank you by name as well. Um, but yeah, hope this helped everybody out. So thanks again for swimming by the shop, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.